An impressive win against Ballyfarry Blue Bars today, 7 0, after coming away with a 5 4 win a couple of weeks back. Harrison, starting with you, what's your feeling? I feel like we played a good game today, to be fair. Uh, we started off a bit slow, but we picked up the game after 10 15 minutes. We got two goals in before half time. I feel like we played well today. Killian, what's your own thoughts? Uh, same as Harrison really, it kind of took us a while to get going into it but once the goals started coming they didn't really stop till the end and we moved the ball well, so some stuff to work on still but yeah, good game like Harrison said all round. Yeah, the big thing really I took from the game was the amount of shots we had on goal and a serious amount on target as well so the amount on target I say you'll be looking back and say that we did pretty well in that department, we got the keeper really getting a good workout, saving the ball Plenty of occasions. Yeah, yeah, apart from the two me and Harrison ballooned over. But um, yeah, a lot, of, a lot of shots on target. Yeah, I'd say we had a few shots off target as well though, I'd say we'd have to pick up on that. But overall, I think we played very well. We had good shots, everyone in getting shots on target. Dez, Ted, everyone getting goals in, so it's good overall. So it sets, it sets you up nicely for the Cup semi-final this week. How do you feel about it? Um, I feel like we'll do well against our pitch bar, I'd say. And you'd be hoping, obviously, for an All West Port final in that competition. Yeah, hopefully. Anyway, that'll be that'll be some that'll be a first, I'd say. Yeah, exactly. That'll, um, be, that'll yeah. be a good battle against the, the, the C versus the D. But of course, uh, as both teams know, they still have to um, get over that that hill first before we'd be thinking of any cup final. Uh, yeah, yeah, we can't preempt anything. You gotta focus on the next game and win that one. Exactly. Nice talking to you again as usual, and enjoy your weekend. Thanks again. Thanks, Kenneth. Thanks, Kenneth. Cheers. Following um, two defeats against the two sides expected to come up, we got back to win and race this evening. Um, how would you describe the game? Yeah, it was great. It was great to get on the second half and put one in and get the assist. Yeah, I really enjoyed it. Onwards and upwards for me. Onwards and upwards for you. So it was a nice goal from you from a very tight angle. And um, and you said onwards and upwards. But yeah, you have to say, um, Manola did actually cause us a few problems. And Miel Gibbons did very well in the second half to narrow down the angle to force a shot wide. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, it was good. It was good. Everyone played together well as a team and we came out strong in the second half after talk and we just put our chances away. Um, that's what you do every game. Um, and we're looking forward to the next next weekend against uh, Foxford. Yeah, the third goal from Ad, the third goal which came from Adam near the end, um, you have to be delighted from after the chances he had earlier on and he needed that goal to to give his head a lift. Yeah, Adam, the finish Adam was was serious. Um, serious goal. Um, the two of us combined well together and the rest of the lads. Just everyone put in the effort and we were delighted with it. We were delighted with it. And I believe it's SNF next weekend, another team that's challenging for the division. So it, it'll be another tough game and you'll be looking forward to pushing another good performance again. Yeah, definitely. We can't wait. After this win today, we're, there's nothing stopping us now. We're going to win the league, win the league out um, and win the rest of our matches. I have to say, after I actually have to admire your confidence and your belief that we, we are going to win games, especially after the last two. And that is important, really, within the squad that you're going to look to bounce back and do as well as you can. Yeah, exactly, exactly. When we play all together, um, we play like a team. Um, we win, like. Um, well, yeah, we have a great bunch of lads here, and just looking forward to next week and rest of the matches. Thank you very much. This game for a long time had the makings of a banana skin, but we came through it at the end. 3-0 win. What are your thoughts? We did, Kenny. Um, coming up here, it's, it's never an easy spot to come to. And um, kind of, we knew tonight it wouldn't be any different. And I suppose the first half was, was pretty tight. We had a good few chances. And to win 1-0, um, the game is always in the balance. But um, we, we, we kind of... We restructured ourselves at half time and we looked at a few little different things um, and we made a big difference in the second half. We were, we were much more creative than I suppose 3 0 in the end. It probably, I, I probably thought we were a few goals better than that. But um, yeah, everything was everything was very good in the second half. Um, first half, 
one nil, you're always likely to allow them back into it with either a silly mistake or maybe a loss of possession or whatever. But um, no, we tightened things up well in the second half and we pushed on and um, I think we finished the game very strongly. And you know, Kieran um, Kieran Cuddy's headed after nine minutes for, from Adam's corner to push us 1-0 up. Um, we kind of um, we kind of really played within first gear, really, for the rest, the rest of the half. We absolutely did, Kenny. That's why I, I said that 1-0, I don't think we pushed on from, from taking the lead. Um, at that moment, we had a few chances after that. We took none of them. Um, and we could have we, we could have extended our lead and maybe made the gap a little bit harder for Manola to close down. So, but in at half time it was one 0 and we knew that we were in a game. But um, thankfully in the second half, I think the boys showed showed massive character. They they really showed things that we've been working on at training, um, breaking quick from from defence and on numerous occasions I think we opened them up and it was just kind of. Poor finishing that that let us down, but um, the second half we, we were delighted with it. Yeah, um, the third goal from Adam, um, you have to be delighted from really. It just gave him a boost really after the couple of chances he had before that. Yeah, we ju we just made a little change just before that. Um, we moved him into a more central position. We put him centre forward actually. We took him in from the from the left wing, and um, we put James Brennan out on the right wing, and, and both both of them had a huge impact. Obviously, James got his first goal. On his birthday today, he's 24, so we were delighted for him. It was a great finish, very, very tight angle, and Adam's finish was was pure Adam Diamond. He's he's a quality player. Um, his his chip over the goalie was was excellent. Um, two great finishes to, to finish the game, and I'm delighted with the two of them because they're they're two very very hard working lads. And looking forward to Resnef again next weekend. A team that's actually expected to challenge for the division promises to be another tough game. It does, Kenny. It's a, like a lot of these games we come up against. It's the it's the first team in in the clubs we're playing against. So it's straight in Foxford's only. I think it's, it's their first team. So it's always going to be a challenge against them. But listen, it's definitely one we're up for, and um, we look forward to to taking them on in United Park. Um, the league is tight. Uh, we had a couple of negative results in the last week, but. Oh, last Sunday we were probably unlucky not to take something from the Con Rangers game. So tonight was a good bounce back. Showed a lot of character in the lads. And um, next Sunday now we, we just need to push on. We we need to start building again. And um, I'm sure tonight's win will give the boys that confidence to to uh, have a good go at the Australian Foxman game. And speaking to James after, just before it, um, he really showed true belief in what the lads could achieve. Absolutely. James is out of the game for a couple of years. He's probably three years away and uh, he came back this year very, very hungry. So we've been patient with him. We've, we've introduced him slowly into games. But um, I think tonight that finish um, and some of the moves and, and some of the, the, the link play with Adam really show the quality he has. And he's, only, he's a lad that's only going to get better and better. Um, he trains really, really hard. He trains really well. He's, he's a really good lad to have around the place. And, He's usually his own bit of biggest critic, but um, tonight he'll go away happy and I know he, he has a lot more in the locker and I'm, I'm sure he'll see it in the next few weeks. And I'm sure we'll be looking forward to that and thanks once again. Thanks Kenny, cheers. Another difficult day in the office against Banner Town. I'm sure that Jesmyn was hurting, would that be the exact feeling? Yeah, 100%. It's uh, difficult to take a result like that. I thought we played well in the first 10 15 minutes, but we've been just on a bad run. We just need to regroup as players to train and now on Tuesday and just make sure we keep our heads on for the rest of the season now. Regroup. And um, when you look at um, Darren's penalty, it gave us a bit of a lifeline. We threw the kitchen sink at them late on. But when you look at Shane Allen's chance in the first half, it was he was actually unlucky with the folly that just cleared the crossbar. Yeah, it seems to be the theme of the last few games where we kind of have a few early chances, don't take them, and then we kind of lose a bit of confidence. But we all seem to do it the hard way the last few games, going a goal down. You know, we got a good result on Thursday against Manola. We came back from 2-1 down. Thought the same might have happened today, but it wasn't to be the case. So we just push on. And I'm sure there'll be a lot of work being done in on the training pitch over the coming week, particularly on the defensive side of the game, having conceded 10 goals in the last three games. 
League well, for games sure, for sure, yeah. As a defender, you know, it hurts when you can see that many goals. Especially last year, we I think we had the best defensive record. So, you know, training's been good anyway. Regardless, we're going to keep doing what we're doing. But I think it's important we recover well now because we've had uh, Sunday, Thursday, Sunday now this week. So, recovery I think is most important now for the next few weeks as well. On top of getting our tactics right. And of course, the next league game you'll be looking to regroup and hopefully get take positives from it. Yeah, look, there's, there's always positives. I think. It's a great group, group of lads, so you know this, we don't look at it as a negative. You know, it's the results we push on, win, lose, or draw, we, we stay together as a team. So, thank you very much. Another tough day in the office today. Uh, another uh, second defeat in three league games. The dressing was certainly hurting after afterwards. How do we move forward? Eh, uh, oh, we get over Kenny as a game of football. Uh, we've had a, a tough week, a lot of tough games. Uh, but we'll get back. Yeah, look, we're a big squad. We had to make a few changes today. Some of the changes may not have worked, but look, that's the position we're put in because of the three games in a week. Uh, but we get up and on it. We're training again during the week, and we'll see where we go from there. Drag us up by the heels. Yeah, and looking at the stats in the last three league games, we conceded 10 goals, which is a worrying trend, and I'm sure that's something that will be addressed on the training pitch in the coming weeks to um, solidify the defence once again. Yeah, I think if you look back over the 10 goals, though, Kenny, a lot of them were from individual errors, and not a lot of you can do about that on the pitch. It's up to guys to take their responsibility. Uh, today, ball was standing there between three players, and Banat came in, put the ball in the net. So someone has to take responsibility. That thing you can't coach. So from experienced players, for that to happen, uh, I hope it wouldn't happen again. So we have to learn from that. And of course, after training this week, we'll be looking forward again to our next game and hoping to get the good vibes back. Ah oh, yeah, look, we did a great, uh, great result during the week away to Manola. Uh, everyone was on a high, but the problem was everyone was physically wrecked after it. It was a long, tough game. So today was a struggle. It's been so early in the morning again. So look, at, we'll rest, recuperate during the week. We'll train properly and we'll get on with it and we'll be back again for Clemars next week. So the gap between kickoff times, half six on the Thursday evening to 11 o'clock on Sunday mornings. Do you think it might be a bit too intense on the players? Uh, well, for cup games it probably is. Yeah, look at that's the, that's the situation the league is in. There's not a lot we can do about it. We have to play by the rules. But uh, look at the better you are, the more cup games you play and the more Thursday night games you have. So, which we prefer not playing Thursday nights. Now, I think we'll stick with the Thursday nights as well. So, look at We have to deal with it. Thank you very much.